And who were you, the outstanding, your outstanding rivals, would you say, at that time? You know, who did you think of as the most serious competition, the best mm. riders in the rival team? Well, of course, Graham, obviously, and, and a bit later on, um, Ray Am. Mm. Um, Ray was fantastic. He really was a, a fantastic rider, but I'm sure he had a bit of a death wish, to be quite honest, because uh, he used to do some of the most improbable things mm. and uh, often g got away with yeah. terrible situations, which I'm sure I wouldn't have got away with if I'd been doing the same thing. Mm. But I suppose he was so used to it, perhaps riding in Rhodesia yeah. or, or whatever beforehand. Mm. Um, he was, was so he used to it. the hardest rider you ever came across, would you say? Yeah, I would, I would say he was, actually. Mm. I don't, I mean, I wouldn't say that he was the best. No, no, a Really, thing. but he was certainly the yeah, hardest rider. Who was the rider. most skillful then? Well, I mean, around here, I, I was most impressed with, with Harold Daniel. Yeah. I mean, absolute copybook. It was beautiful yeah. to watch. His yeah. line was perfection. He was very, very quick. Heaven knows how quick he would have gone if he'd been my size instead of... Mm. I mean, he was quite a heavy bloke, really. Yes, he no must streamlining have been at all, of course, 12, in those 13 days. 12 13 stone. Yeah. I just a little wire. And yeah. buy my oh, did you? Uh, but um, no, he was really. And in fact, I watched the 49 senior uh, TT from the three left handlers before Windy Corner. Yeah. And they're unequally spaced. So you've got to get it, yeah. the first one right if you're going to take it in one continuous sweep. Mm. And what Harold was going down there, flat in top on the old garden, garden gate, gate yeah. device. And as steady as a rock and a beautiful line. And no one else in the whole entry was doing that. Yeah. And that taught me something. From then on, onwards, I knew exactly how to cope with those three left-handers. Yeah. But he was, he was like that everywhere, you know, incredible. Yeah. But he was all, always ready to, mm. with a joke. Uh, we used to stop at um, Belath then and just... Have, Joe would have a look at the plugs to see what the carburetion was like. Yeah. And um, Artie uh, and uh, Harold stop, stopped at virtually the same time. And when all this had been done, um, Harold, before he de departed, said, now no racing to, to Artie, you see. And Artie nodded and away Harold went. <laughs> And Artie said he ne never saw him again <laughs> until he got into the, the cocoa tent, as we used to call it. Yeah. And Harold was there drinking his cocoa when, when uh, Artie arrived. He said no racing. He'd obviously had quite a go himself, actually. <laughs> but this was the sort of thing he'd do, you know. Yeah. But he was wonderful. Yeah.